Good morning everyone, fellow teachers of Hanusa Elementary School, especially to our uh, hard-working math coordinator, Sir, El Sir Erwin Villarinia, and to our ever-dearest, gorgeous principal, Ma'am Bernadette B. Alba, good morning. We are glad to present to you uh, on how we do the simulation in math grade 6. I am Alona T. Anis, grade 6 teacher, and here is my partner, Chanel Anditirados, grade 6 pupil. Okay, let's start. Good morning, Chanel. Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? I'm good. Okay, how do you feel now? I feel nervous. Are you excited? No. Okay, that's normal. But don't let uh, to lose your focus answering because of your nervous. Just relax. Okay, I will give you 10 seconds to relax. Okay, let's start. You will be answering five tasks. Okay. Uh, task one is the number identification. Task two is the quantity discrimination. Task three is the missing number. Task four is the fundamental operation. And task five is the number problem. Okay, let's start with task one, which is the number identification. Okay, I want you to take a closer look at the uh, screen. As I flash, read the numbers, then I am going to use the stopwatch and I will tell you when to begin and when to stop. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, number one question. How are you going to read this numeral? 76,235. Another question. What number is this? 835,941. Very good. Number 3. What number is this? 1,230,400. Okay, another. Number 4. How are you going to read this fraction? 510. Number 5. How are you going to read this fraction? 927. Number six, how are you going to read this mixed number? Three and, se three and five, seven. Number seven, how are you going to read this decimal number? Three hundred. Number eight, how are you going to read this decimal? Five thousand. Very good. Number ten, I number nine, how are you going to read this mixed decimal? Four and ninety-six thousand. Very good. Okay, last number. How do you read this? Forty-five percent. Okay, awesome. Very good answer. Okay, let uh, let's go now to task two, which is the quantity discrimination. Okay, I will uh, read the question twice. Then you are going to give me the right answer. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, let's start. Okay, again, uh, the same procedure as number one. Compare the numbers which is greater. I repeat, compare the numbers which is greater. 1,125 or 1,215? 1,215. Okay, correct answer. Number two, from these given numbers, which is greater? From these given numbers, which is greater? 
5,632 or 5,236? 5,632. Okay, very good answer. Number three, which is greater from this set of numbers? Repeat, which is greater from this set of numbers? 62,713 or 63,127? 63,127. Let's proceed. Number four. From this set of numbers, which is lesser? From this set of numbers, which is lesser? 84,236 or 83,246? 83,246. Very good. Number 5. Which is lesser from this set of numbers? Again, which is lesser from this set of numbers? 97,369 or 96,739? 96,739. Nice answer. Number 6. Among this set of numbers, which is greatest? Among this set of numbers, which is greatest? 63 and 279 thousands, 62 and 973 thousands, or 63 and 297 thousands? 63 and 297 thousands. Very good. Number 7. Which is greatest among this decimal number? I repeat, which is greatest among this decimal number? 347 and 489 thousands. 347 and 849 thousands. Or 374 and 894 thousands. 374 and 894 thousands. Okay, nice one. Number 8. Among these given decimal numbers, which is greatest? Among these given decimal numbers, which is greatest? 246 and 692 thousands, 29 and 6,942 6, ten thousands, or 296 and 249 thousands. 296 and 249,000. Okay, great. Number 9. Which among these decimal number has the least value? Again, which among these decimal number has the least value? Okay. 4,213 and 178,000. 4,132. And 248,000. 4,123 and 874,000. Or 4,000. Or 431. And 2,748. 10,000. 431 and 200. About 2,074. 748,000. Okay, let's proceed. Number 10. From these given decimal numbers, which has the least value? Again, from this given decimal number, which has the least value? 5,672 and 978,000. 5,267 and 798,000. 5,627 and 789,000. Or 5,278 and 879,000. 5,267 and 798,000. Okay, very good. Now, let's proceed to task uh, 3, which is find the missing number. Okay. I want you to take a closer look at this uh, screen. Then, as I flash, read the numbers. 
I am going to use the stopwatch and I will tell you when to begin and when to stop. Are you ready for task 3? Yes, I am. Okay, let's start. Supply the missing number in the following numbers arranged from greatest to least. Again, you are going to supply the missing number in the following numbers arranged from greatest to least. 3,465, blank, 3,455, and 3,450. 3,460. Very good. Cool. Number 2. From these numbers, arrange from greatest to least, what is next? Again, from these numbers, arrange from greatest to least, what is next? 12,410, 12,400, 12,390, and 12,380. Okay, very good. Nice answer. Number three. From this series of whole numbers, what is missing? Again, from this series of whole numbers, what is missing? 1,022,280 1,022,380 Blank 1,022,580 1,022,480 Okay, great answer Number 4 Here are some sets of decimal numbers What do you think is the value of the next decimal number? Again, here are some sets of decimal number, and what do you think is the value of the next decimal number? Eight hundred sixty-two. Eight hundred sixteen hundred. Eight hundred sixteen hundred. Twenty-four hundred and thirty-two hundred. Very good. Number five. Here are some sets of decimal numbers, and what do you think is the value of the next decimal number? Twelve and thirty-six hundred. Blank. 13 and 36 hundredths and 13 and 86 hundredths. 12 and 86 hundredths. Very good answer. Okay, next. Here are some sets of decimal numbers. And what do you think is the value of the second unknown number? 6 and 24 hundredths. Blank. 5 and 84 hundredths. And five and sixty-four hundreds. Four and four hundreds. Let's proceed. Here are some sets of similar fractions. What fractions goes here? Again, here are some sets of similar fractions. And what fractions goes here? One-fourth, two-fourth, blank, four-fourth. Three, four. Very good answer. Next, here are some sets of equal fractions. What fraction goes here? Again, here are some sets of equal fraction. And what fraction goes here? Two, four, four, eight, six, twelve. Eight, sixteen. Very good. Okay, next. Number eight. Here are some sets of similar fractions in descending order. What fraction is missing? Again, here are some sets of similar fractions in descending order. What fraction is missing? 9 tenths, blank, 5 tenths, and 3 tenths. 7 tenths. Okay, now, uh, let us go now to task 4, which is, uh, we are going to use the four fundamental operations. Okay, do you know the four fundamentals operations? What are the four fundamentals operations? Shanem. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, at division. Okay, so those are the four fundamentals operations. Okay. Now, let's proceed. 
Here are some addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division problems. I am now going to use the stopwatch. You are going to write the answer for each problem. Okay, if you don't know the answer, just move on to the next problem. I will give you uh, 100 seconds to answer the 10 items. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, let's start. Okay, timer. Timer starts now. Okay, time's up. How many items did you answer? Three. Okay, now let's proceed to subtraction. Okay, same procedure as addition. Uh, timer starts now. Okay, time's up. How many items did you answer? Eight. Okay, now 
let's move on to the next okay which is the multiplication okay same procedure again as addition uh, timer starts wait timer starts now Okay, timer uh, stop. Okay, now let's proceed to division. Timer starts now.
Okay, stop. How many items did you answer? Six. Okay. Uh, let me see your paper. Okay, now let us move on to another task. Okay, this is the last task that you are going to answer, which is the number problems. Okay, I have here some problems that I am going to ask you to solve for me. Okay, so listen very carefully to each problem. Then you are going to write the answer. I will give you 20 minutes, uh, 20, mini, uh, 20 seconds for each problem. Are you ready? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, let's start. Problem number one. Find the quotient of 275 and find. Again, find the quotient of 275 and find. Timer starts now. Okay, stop. Problem number two. What number is 52 and 345 thousands diminished by 2 and 45 thousands? Again. What number is 52 and 345 thousands diminished by 2 and 45 thousand. Okay. Timer starts now. Okay, stop. Number three. Problem number three. What is the result if we multiply 58 and 12 hundredths by 5? Again. What is the result if we multiply 58 and 12 hundredths by 5? Okay, timer starts now. Okay, stop. Let's move on to the problem number four. Okay, problem number four. 17 greater than a number, 199. Find the number. 17 greater than a number, 199. Find the number. Okay. Timer starts now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, stop. Let's proceed to problem number 5. 4 times a number is 484. What is the number? 4 times a number is 484. What is the number? Okay, timer starts now. Okay, stop. Uh, let me see your paper. Okay, that is the end of our uh, simulation. Okay, again. Uh, good morning, everyone. And goodbye. Oh, mag-goodbye ka na, Dali. Mag-goodbye ka na. Bye-bye.